What are the five signs? Sign number one, you don't feel like yourself. In this relationship, you feel like you're walking on eggshells. You don't know how to act when you're in public or when you're around their friends. You aren't sure if you should hold hands. You're uncomfortable talking about your feelings because you don't know if they're on the same page. All of these things mean you don't feel comfortable being you. And any relationship where you have to twist yourself into somebody that you're not in order to keep the peace, it only starts a war inside of you. And those kind of relationships, they always blow up. The second sign, you're constantly questioning how you should communicate. If you're nervous about sending a text asking if they want to hang out, or do you obsess over whether they opened your snap but they haven't responded, or how long it's been since they texted you back? Do they watch your Instagram story but not respond to your text messages? Are you compulsively checking social media to try to get the clues you need that it's okay to reach out? Any relationship where you spend more time questioning rather than talking about communication is a relationship that's broken. Sign number three, you think about where the relationship stands all the time. You constantly think about questions like, where's this going? Are we exclusive? Are we committed? Can I introduce you to my family and take you to a work event? How should I introduce you? What are you thinking? What do you say about me? Not knowing where you stand means this relationship doesn't stand a chance. Sign number four, you're starting to get annoyed. You're now the one opening snaps and not responding. You're saying you're too busy to hang out in order to send a message. You're hesitant to commit to future plans because you don't know the future of this relationship. You snap at them more than usual. All those cute little things that used to make you laugh, they're really annoying. And here's the kiss of death. If their name pops up on your phone or they walk through the door at the end of the day and you feel dread and not excitement, that's a sign that you're over this person. And the fifth and final sign, you're questioning whether or not you have the same values. If you're starting to feel like you're losing yourself, for example, maybe you're drinking more than you'd like, you're spending less time with your friends, you're skipping the gym, you're only doing things, for example, like listening to certain types of music because it interests them. This is a major problem. If there isn't a balance between the two of you, you will always feel like a less important part of the relationship because you are.